Okay, we're gonna do a little math at home. Today we're gonna work on weight. If something is heavier or lighter. So we're gonna make a little something. My class, I gave you the pieces to make it. For the others, I'll show you how to make it with what you've got at home. Okay, so we're gonna start with a hanger. My class, I gave you this one. I actually drilled these two little holes in it. You're gonna need those or you can just use a wire hanger. If you're using a wire hanger, you're also going to need some tape, probably some painter's tape, some scotch tape, some duct tape, something that's a little stronger than scotch tape. Scotch tape will probably work though. So you're gonna need some tape. You're gonna need two paper clips, okay? And you're gonna need two plastic cups that are the same size same weight okay to start these are exactly the same they're just different colors that makes it easier to spot but i was thinking well what if you don't have those cups at home you know mr mcconnell's love for gatorade well i've got plenty of gatorade bottles at home i could definitely use one of these then i'll need my box cutter and i'm gonna have to cut it off and make the the top cut the top off so i make sort of a cup out of it so i'm gonna do that real quick here just slip it in. Please, for this part, boys and girls, you're gonna ask for help. It's always okay to help. Remember, maybe mom and dad can get the stuff off the high shelf in the kitchen. Guess who they're asking to get it off the bottom shelf? You. Everybody needs help, we all help each other. Okay, so you can definitely do that, but you would need two of them. Okay, I'm not finished with my drink yet, so no, I'm not cutting it up. So, just think about that. So let's go ahead and build this. First, for my class, I gave you guys uh, two cups, I gave you the hanger, and I even gave you guys some colorful paper clips. The first thing you're gonna need to do is punch a hole in the top of the cup on each side, the top of the cup. Now, uh, if you don't have a hole punch, I know a lot of people don't have a hole punch, that's fine, just you're gonna use something sharp to put a little hole in the top so that you can get your paper clip through it, okay? So I punch those holes in there, they're just very at the top of the cups. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slip your, your paper clips down and through so that it hangs off your cup. You're gonna do the same thing to both cups, okay? And then my class, we got it nice and easy. I put those little holes in your hangers. Now you're gonna just hang your paper clips through those little holes. Okay, you're hanging that one on that one side. You might want to close that paper clip up so it doesn't slip off. Then you're going to take your other one and you're going to hang it off the other side through that little hole. Mom and Dad, let the kids do this part, okay? This is probably where little hands are actually better than big hands. So close that up. That's your balance, okay? We'll use this in just a second. But for those of you guys that don't have this at home, just find a wire hanger. You're gonna take a little tape here. You're gonna take a piece off, probably about that long. You're gonna come down here to the end of the hanger and you're going to create a little space here where you can hang your paper clip. So you're gonna just take that tape and you're gonna put it around. That's probably enough right there. I'm gonna save this other piece, use it for the other side. Okay, so I did that on one side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. Okay, so now you're gonna take your two cups. Again, you're gonna put the paper clip through that hole that you, you put on your, your cup. Okay. Same thing to the other cup. We are making a balance. This isn't gonna tell you how heavy something is. It's just gonna tell you if something is heavier or lighter. Okay, so now we're gonna hang that one on that side. And we're gonna hang this one over here on this side. Now, you've got a balance, just like the one my class is making. So this, these are a balance. They don't tell you how heavy something is. They're gonna tell you if it's heavier or lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here and I'm gonna show you how it works. 
So let me get some space here, clear out. Bye bye Gatorade, I'll see you soon. Okay, so we've got our balance here. If one side goes down, that makes it heavier than the other side. The side that goes up is lighter than the other side. If they stay the same, they're equal. Okay? So let's do an e easy experiment. I gave my class some cubes. If you don't have cubes, find things that are exactly the same. Two crayons, two pencils, find something. Okay? I'm going to start it off and I'm going to take five cubes. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. I got five cubes each. I'm going to put one in one side, and I'm going to put the other in the other side. I can't hold the hanger. I got to let it hang on my finger. And if you look, it's straight across five and five. They're equal. That's the way they should be. Now, what's going to happen if I take these five out on this side? The heavier side will go down, the lighter side will go up. If I take these five out, it shows you that five cubes is heavier than zero cubes. Makes sense, right? Well, what if I take one cube and put it in with the, against the five? It's still heavier and this is lighter. Okay, let's put another one in. Starting to come down, but it's still up, and this one's still down. Okay, put another one in, comes down a little more, but if you look, this one's still lower, it's lighter. This one is, oh sorry, yeah, you're right. This one's heavier, this one's lighter. Put another one in, ooh, it's getting so close, so close, but this one's still lower, it's heavier. This one's lighter. Now we're back to five and five, and look, it's back to being equal, okay? So, let's, let's keep playing with this. Go around your house, find some stuff. I got five cubes on this side. I want you to think, what's something that could be heavier than five cubes? Heavier than five cubes. A, did you guys turn the TV down? What do you need to turn the TV down? Your remote. Let's stick that in. What do you think? Is it heavier than five cubes or lighter? If it's heavier, it'll go down. If it's lighter, it'll stay up. Here we go. Oh, it's so heavy. It's not staying in there. Not the best experiment there, but that's what science and experimenting is about. Let's try something else. Let me try a spoon, okay? Who thinks the spoon is going to be heavier or lighter than the five cubes? It's heavier than five cubes. It's lower and the cubes went up. Well, what's something that could be lighter than five cubes? Maybe a pencil. Yep, pencil's lighter. It's up, it's down. Okay? Find things, see what you can do. Let's try one more before we go, okay? You know my little friend, here he comes. There's my little pug, Easter pug. He's inside there. So he's definitely gonna go down, he's heavier than an empty cup. But what about my kitty cat? Meow. That kitty cat gonna be heavier or lighter than my Easter pug? Let's find out. Get in there, kitty cat. Okay, he's in, and I'm gonna lift up. Whoa! Kitty cat, you need to go on a diet. You're heavier than the pug. Pugs are big dogs. Okay, cool though. So, this is a balance. A balance is gonna help you find out if something is heavier or lighter. So I want you guys to build one, use your cubes to work on heavier and lighter, Find some cool stuff around your house, okay? Nothing breakable. Don't put anything breakable in there. Don't want it slipping out and falling and then uh, Mr. McConnell gets in trouble because he told you to do it. No thanks. Okay guys, have some fun.